Alright guys, welcome back. As you can tell, I got Diddy in position for uh, his uh, last few bananas. Right over there is the number four banana pad where you can see the uh, tag barrel outlining, sort of. So, let's just finish him up. Okay, I uh, started my uh, game from a complete quit, so probably the reason why the golden banana is not there is probably because the Diddy switch is going to be pushed up. It's my only guess. It's tiny. Chunky. Yep, see it's pushed up. Alright, let's see this. Okay, hopefully this won't take too long. Uh, my sister's out of the room right now, and uh, she's just getting something to eat, so you might uh, hear her coming in a little bit. Hopefully we can finish up a uh, tiny and chunky today. <sighs> this level is kind of, I guess you could say, tiny signature level. Because it's kind of... The way you can tell if it's someone's signature level or not is uh, who fights the boss. This level is uh, Tiny Kong's, the next one will be Lanky Kong, and the one after that will be Chunky Kong. So, yeah. Alright. Switch over to Tiny Kong, and let's get this area done over first. But, we might need this, uh, that was a lucky jump. We might need something from ch uh, Cranky Kong, so let's go check for any upgrades she has. This level isn't too hard to find all tiny stuff. After you get uh, all the machines working and stuff, you're pretty much good to go for everyone. This is Ponytail Twirl Random Roundus. Basically, if you press A while you're in the air, she'll start spinning around and you can glide for a certain amount of time. This is what actually makes her the second best, well, makes her the best distance platformer, I guess you could say. So, because she can go extreme, somewhat extreme distances with this. Yes, we're on part 28. Um, hopefully we can uh, get Tiny and Chunky done within the next two parts. I'm trying to set kind of like a goal for at least the first three areas to finish in uh, uh, ten parts. Per each part, so uh, yes. The tricky part about this is that uh, you can't be all the way up against the wall or else you'll probably fall off. And we forgot the tiny switch. How embarrassing. Uh, but we can reach this barrel, barely. 
Alright, this one you want to shoot the golden banana. Uh, without shooting the cones. Not too hard. Just make sure you just go back to the center and uh, refill each time. That is probably one of the simplest mini games, so uh good thing it's not hard. I forgot a completely about the tiny switch, so hopefully we didn't really miss the golden banana, but we gotta go get that now. Let's use this to safely go. Hers is this one. Oh, is that one back there? Hmm. Oh, this one. Oh, was the one right beside me, apparently. Did we hit it? Okay, that's odd. I guess we did hit it before we went up. I, I am seriously not sure right now. But since we hit it and there's not really anything else we can get up there, except maybe. A, yep, there's a gun. Good thing I looked. Kind of for her, you just kind of. Well, actually, I think I can get it by just aiming down. Let's go back to this area and go ahead and get her uh, blueprint guy. I, mean, I really don't know what they're called, so that's the only reason why I'm calling them by that. The only ones I know are critters and clap traps. So hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Sorry for the lack of commentary, it's just kind of, like I said before in a previous part, by myself, I am not that interesting, so, or at least I don't think I am. I'm going to climb these crates. Go in here. I'm pretty low well on crystal coconuts. This will get you a uh, golden banana, obviously. I do not believe there is anything else in here for Tiny. Nope, so let's take the number five uh, pad.
Alright guys, we'll um, end it here. We're running low on time. Too bad the time limit's only 10 minutes. Well, technically, you, it can be a little under 11, so... Anyway, see y'all next time.